one program we did for multiple in the Mac So this is the example of this is the example of multi thread. Last class we have as well as we have discussed about the sleep method. Okay, what is sleep method? Why we use sleep? Timer. This like a timer, sir. Yeah, it's a timer to delay to delay the output. Like if I will show you, so output is coming like zero. Two second delay, again two second delay, again. So this is the sleep. And this example is also related to multi-threading. If you will create a object of a class twice, so one object is th, second object is th1. So you are starting two thread at the same time. This is multi-threading. Okay, so we have already discussed this one. So today we are going to discuss about is alive and join method. Okay, and after this we will discuss about synchronization. Okay, and in this program we are using this is what this is a class or thread. Runnable is what an interface. Yes, runnable is a ah. interface because we are using the keyword implements. Okay, if we will use extends thread, then it means we are extending class. Okay, so write down this program. It's a related to is alive method and join method. <laughs> You see the class we are having thread, we have created object of that. Okay. In this class, we are having one method. Remember last in last program, we have discussed about current threads. Current thread dot name or priority, we check this one. Now what we are checking that this thread thread is working currently or not. Check the status is alive, this thread is still there or not. Okay? If this thread thread is still there, it will return true. Or otherwise, if this thread is finished or terminated, means it will give you the false error. This join method. This join method will work when this thread will terminate. Okay, when this thread will terminate, this join method will work and it will give you the status false. Because this is terminated after. If I will show you the output. First status is, is alive. Means, this is working. Start means working. After join, it will terminate that and it will give you the result false. You have to study previous chapter. I know. This, this is very difficult. Okay, only these two things we are discussing here. Alive and join. Other things are same like we discussed. Mm -hmm. If I will show you the previous program, this is the program which we discussed yesterday. Manisha, Charles, if you want more understanding. We are extending thread class here. Thread is a class which is available into Java. Okay, no need to extend, no need to write any package. Just directly you can say extend and thread. This run method is available into this thread class. Okay. Whenever you want to run this method, you have to say dot start, not dot run. Okay, to start the thread, we focus on start only. So this is what we were discussing. Here we are extending class thread and one program we did, we are implementing interface that is running. These two things we have discussed. And we have discussed about start method, run method and sleep method. Okay, these three things we have discussed. And one more program we have discussed that is demon thread.
Okay. So today we are discussing about is alive and joint. Other things are same. <coughs> After this, the program which we are going to do related to synchronization is a little lengthy program because we have to run two or three thread simultaneously. Like in last class, I showed you in task manager you will see processes. There are multiple processes are running at the same time. Okay, how it is running because they have assigned the priority. Okay, if I want to run multiple tasks or multiple thread at the same time, we have to synchronize the threads. We have to synchronize that threads. Okay. For that, you have to write a program for synchronization. I will show you. You have finished this one? Complete this one first, then I will show you the synchronization. The difference between multi threading and multitasking. Ah, so this one is for multitasking. For multitasking. This is multi threading. Yes, for. Multi Whenever you do multitasking is all about multi process, multiple ah. process at the same time. Multi threading is all about multiple task at the same time. Ah. Yes. Task and process both are different. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. Ah, yes. <laughs> Let me explain this process. <coughs> this is the first class we are having print demo. Okay. In this print demo, we are having one method. Print com. This is a very simple thing which we were doing from last few classes. Okay, for loop and we will count 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, like that. Mm. Okay, 5 till 0. zero. This is reverse loop. And we are printing this counting. Okay, counting will start from 5 till 0. Okay, this is the method. And if any problem, this catch will end. Okay. Another class we are having thread demo and we are extending class thread pair because we have to use one method that is available into thread class that is run method. Okay. Now before this run method we have this uh, we have declared few variables. It's a object of a class. It's a private type. Private type means there are two types of things we have discussed, private and public. public. Okay, private which, which are not accessible outside the class, public which are accessible anywhere in the program. Okay, so th these two things are private. The object of a thread and a variable called thread name. These two things are private with us. And this is also a, this is what? Can you explain? What, what is print demo? Yes. Uh, spring demo is a class. class. So we are creating object of this class inside this class. So that if you will execute class this class, this will execute automatically. Okay, this will execute automatically if you if I will execute this class. After this, this is what? Constructor. Constructor. Yes, this is a constructor. Same name as a class name. Okay. This this is a constructor. This is a special type of method. Same name as a class name. So there is no need to call this method. Whenever you will create an object of this class, this will automatically work. Okay. This is the run method. Here we are using synchronized. Synchronized means this class will synchronize with another class that is PD. PD is the object of another class. This one. There are two classes. Don't confuse yourself. This is one and this is two. Two classes. And we are synchronized this class inside. And we are going to print count here. Print count is a method available in print app. So, two classes we have to synchronize so that it will continue parallelly. Like, 
this is the first class this is the second class if i will execute this class this class should run automatically so that's why we are creating this class object inside this using synchronized keywords we are processing the method available inside so what we are doing t t is what t is a by object of thread just just a condition if it is null what it should say it is equal to is equal to null yes thread name it should show okay and here this is a simple thing how many objects we have created two objects two object this is for thread 1 and this is for thread 2 thread okay and what will be the output first thread will run thread 1 and thread 2 there are two thread 54321 means thread 1 existing 54321 thread 2 existing so these two things will go parallel using which keyword synchronized nice okay i'll show you the This is the first Second thread. Five, place. four, three, two, one. Thread one existing. Now thread two. Five, four, three, two, one. Thread two existing. Clear? If you will not use synchronize, what will happen? Only three. This will work as it is. But this will create a problem. First one will work exactly mm -hmm. like here we are seeing, but another thread will create a problem because we we are not using synchronize. We cannot synchronize with without using synchronize keyword. Okay, so write down this program and execute it. There are two threads. Okay. And at a time you want that only one thread should run. Mm -hmm. What you will do? Oh, it's one thread should run. Thread is a run. Some thread. That is wait. Wait. Ah, wait. wait. So wait. we'll keep another thread into waiting. Ah, wait. And one thread we can choose. That and wait. One more thing is notify. Notify means it should notify that we are waiting. This should this class should run first. Then we will. Even then the next program. It's like Q. Wait, Q. Yeah, you you can see. Yeah. Wait, wait. Any other? Multi-threading and multi-tasking. Very small differences here. More small difference. More less. Oh, I'm picturing. This one. They will give you uh, three, four lines, and you have to identify which statement is true about multi-threading and multi-tasking. Oh, oh, oh! What's the answer? What chapters are there? Yes, what chapters are there? One of the project sites. Project start after thirty years. Thirty years of this. one with you
This uh what they call this this trading and the last part. Okay. So your attendance, your internal marks, this test, five test, project marks, and your final marks. Then your certificate.
the result of variable anxiety. Don't confuse yourself with these things. If you will not write these things, then also your program will work. Mm -hmm. The only thing is why we are putting all these things inside break and uh, dry and catch because if any exception will yeah. raise, we can handle at the run time. Otherwise, these are the op optional things. If you want to write, you can write, otherwise you can skip this one. Okay, why this error is coming? Yeah. So, just because of this, we have to use try and catch. See, interrupted exception must be what or declared to be true. So, we have to put this one into the try and catch. Okay? So, this is what we are doing here. So, to start this one, we already know to run this method, we have to put v dot start, start directly. No need to mention v dot run. Start means it automatically will run thread and thread is having a method called run. It will automatically execute. So this is what we are doing here. Out. Deadlock. Remember? Yes. Yeah. What, what is deadlock? Any idea? Um, programs uh, like they're all top priority mm -hmm. uh, running at the same time but couldn't like go first. How do you call that? Yeah. Uh, I I, it's like See, uh, deadlock <laughs> is a very good concept if you want to understand. That's why we are having these methods, we notify all these things. If uh, if I will show you the figure, then you will understand it better. I am. Hmm. Then. Can you tell me the solution how we can use how, how we can resolve the problem deadlock? You should know because uh, those who are attending first class day before yesterday, they should know about the solution. 
लॉरेंस जेम्स उधर यास्मीन सैमसुदीन हाउ हाउ वी कैन रिजॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम द ओनली सॉल्यूशन टू रिजॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टू यूज स्लीप मेथड and the similar to use sleep method once that will sleep for some seconds till that another thread will work mm-hmm. okay okay so then when that thread wake up then it will work so sleep method is the is the solution for the dead one is it clear okay. i'll show you the program for that also to put the number of sleep pad to and then the plan यूजिंग this class before because every time we are using main at the end why we are using this and first because this object lock 1 and lock 2 we are going to use these two things over here mm, simple one okay so before using these thing we have to declare so that's why we are using this thing this main function before all these classes so we are having two classes thread demo 1 and thread demo 2 2 now how we can execute this one so we have to use sleep method for first lock so that second will work. so waiting for lock 2 holding lock 1 and 2 so this is thing this is possible just because of sleep sleep so if you will not use sleep it will your program will stop hmm. okay yeah. because every thread will think who will work first yeah. so finish this program and we will get a sleeping person some thread so we will get a sleeping person some thread for handing over i need to write both the classes okay uh-huh. just write first class this one only this this much you have to write okay mm. after writing you can copy paste the code and put it to the class yeah. okay only the thing is you have to change the thread name this is thread 1 and this is thread 2 that's it others all everything is same clear only first class you have to write other one you can go copy this code till here copy and paste the only thing this is demo 1 make it 2 thread 1 make it 2 1 and last you have to place one more bracket that's it finish i'm working